guys and welcome once again to another episode of Advancing Your Photography. And I love seeing you guys from Namaste from India and Chicago. And it's always like who who joins us first, Chicago or India? Jared, good to see you. And the Blind Husky team from Poland. Do we have the whole team? I always want to know how many are in the actual Blind Husky team. I know you've told us. And Ecuador. Hey, we've got the globe. We're dotting it here. This is pretty cool. I, You know, it gives me a thrill, I got to tell you guys, to see you guys tune in from everywhere. And I appreciate that in India, it's kind of late, isn't it? In Poland, it's what, 7 o'clock? Yeah. India, it's what time is it there? And Virginia, okay, I know where that is. That's in our United <laughs> States. <laughs> Guess what? Tomorrow, no, not tomorrow, but Saturday is a big day for our country. We celebrate our birthday. Uh, how old are we, Jared? Do the math. 200 and, <laughs> no, give me give me the math. Shout out and tell me, because I'm a little challenged right now. I must not have had enough coffee. But we've got yeah, the- Yeah, I'm ne looking it up myself right now. Netherlands, well, 1776, we can do that math, right? So uh, 10, a, 10 p.m. in India, you guys are exactly 244. That's that's what it is. 244 what it, years. 244 years. Our country, the United States, is celebrating its birthday. So that's a big deal for us. And South Africa, 7 p.m. I love it. I love South Africa, too. We had a great time there visiting uh we flew into Johannesburg, we went to Cape Town, went up to the bush, uh, Kruger National Park, where all the animals roam around. Got out every day, twice a day to shoot those guys. It was amazing. We had everyone. We had all the big five, too. So I love you guys for joining us. And so make sure you throw your questions our way when we're at that point. And I guess I should just go ahead and officially get this party started. So let's do that here. I actually, you know, someday I just want to do a uh, pure chat with you guys. Just questions and answers and chat because I think it would be really fun. I'd love to figure out a way to actually have you guys speak on YouTube. I haven't got that worked out, but maybe we'll figure it out someday. Okay. Well, here we go. I'm going to introduce myself. You know who I am, but I'm Mark Silver. Let's do that again. I'm Mark Silver. I'm a photographer and author in Carmel, California. I love having you guys with us. And you might know that our episode today is brought to you by our friends at Bay Photo Lab. And before I forget, they just sent me a thing in the email that you can get 15% off on all their stuff, anything. 15% off. Listen, they produce anything printed, a book, putting photos on your wall. You can see these cool backlit photos they've got here, stuff that you can frame and put over your couch in your living room, uh, coffee cups, uh, note cards, whatever you want printed. And you know I'm a huge believer in getting your stuff off your computer and into a printed form. Let's go, let's go non-digital here and get prints made. And the very first place you should display your work is in your own home or around people that you love because it's your work and that's how you can show it off. Go to Bay Photo. We're going to put a link in there. You'll get 25% off on your first order. But today you will get 15% off no matter what. Okay, I am really happy to bring on our guest. I'm going to introduce you to her. If you don't know who she is, Denise Duff has been on all sides of the camera. So she's a professional photographer. This is some of her video work here. She's a professional photographer, an actor, and a director. So she knows every side of being on a camera and she's developed an easy style of capturing the spirit of her subjects with a very simple but effective lighting approach. And we're happy to have her back on Advancing Her Photography to talk with us again. Denise, so great to have you with us. Thanks for joining us again. 
Yeah, it's so super cool to be here. I'm I'm talking to you today from Florida. Last time we did our interview, I was uh, in my Manhattan apartment. That's right. So very different temperatures. Very different humidity and temperature, but I'm glad we can see the New York look here and you look awesome. You really do. <laughs> Thank you. So what we're going to do, let's just kind of dive in. But my first okay. question is always this. What is it that really drives you? What's your passion when it comes to photography? Um, well, uh, yesterday was my birthday. Ooh, and for my, birthday. thank you, for my party, I um, invited women to my photo studio here in Florida. And I photographed them all. And one for one, everyone was like, it, but it's your birthday. Why are you working? And I'm like, you don't understand. This is this is my soul treat. This yeah. is my gift to my spirit to be able to photograph women, especially women over 30, because there there is um, an, an agreement of uh, uh, beauty starts to fade. We start to feel um, we get very self-conscious. And, and I have this special gift of being on that other side and knowing what goes on in one's head and knowing that I can take care of technically all the things with light and with Photoshop. But what, what I, uh, what you can't do with any of those technical things is make a woman feel at ease, um, in post-production in Photoshop right. and with light, True. all that, all that stuff will not take the, the, the woman's fears out of her mind. And so that's my uh, greatest gift and passion is to have every woman that sits down in front of me feel as beautiful as she feels in her little quiet moments where, where she like looks at a little selfie and goes, oh, I'm not, I'm actually kind of pretty. Because when you put a camera up against a, a woman, not so much a phone, but you know, you, yeah. you put a camera up against them, it brings out, it brings out every fear. And as a photographer, that, that goes against us and we have to work to, to handle that. And, and that's to me where I feel like my, my day rate is justified is in my superpower to make the woman feel beautiful. I love it. And we're going to explore that. We're going to talk about lighting and also how you put people at ease because you're right. I mean, the business of photography isn't about the cameras. Let's face it. It's about you yeah. connecting with your person in front of you. Because if there's yeah. no connection, it doesn't matter what camera you've got, you, that's not going to happen, right? No. And with a connection, it doesn't matter what camera you're using, you're going to get a you're going to get a good photograph. There's no question. It is. It's crazy. I'm sure we've all, as as professional or as photographers, and everyone who's watching, um, sometimes someone will show you a picture that's technically crap, right? And they're like, look at this. I, this is one of my favorite pictures of myself. And all I'm thinking of is, oh my gosh, there's all these hot spots. The background's busy. But the person loves their the, their essence. Yeah. So how great when you get both of those, when you mesh both of those, that's when you get your Vanity Fair covers. Right. You know, that's when you get your you know, your National Geographic portraits that live on forever, when you can meld that, that, that comfortable spirit of your subject with all the technical stuff. Right on. Well, listen, is it okay if we just dive in? I've got some, I've got your first photo here on the screen yes. and we can see you. So whatever you're, okay. we're still connected with you. T okay. Tell us about what the lighting is and, and what's going on with this shoot. Sure. So this is um, uh, natural light. She is in front of um, a doorway. So she's sitting in a doorway. So the light that's coming on her is um, is natural light. And to well, the left of the camera, um, there was just a, 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 a little light on a stand. It was just a, a light, just a still light, not a strobe light, just a little still light that because her hair is so thick, right. I wanted to just fill it a little bit. Normally, you wouldn't need to. Like if you just cover the frame with your hand, if you cover that part of her hair, um, it would still be OK. But it just gave a little something and it and it gave a little bit of kick to her body and her waist. Um, behind her is uh, her daughter holding the um, the round uh scrim the round like white reflector oh, okay 
and I have some pictures. Can I toggle and show you sure, the please. other? Sure, Just, just okay, hit your so. arrow button either way, and it should get to the next okay. one. Okay. Excuse me if it gets a little uh, yeah, me if, messy if here. You just On your computer, I think if you just hit your right or left arrow, it should just, there okay, you go. Okay, here we go. Boom. So, you, so not only um, the, the model herself is holding her own um, piece of foam core. That's oh, the piece yeah. of foam core. I got just from the local drugstore, you know, your Walmart, Walgreens, Rite Aid, CVS, um, that has the uh, um, cards, those foam core cards, yep. craft boards. So she's holding her own, and that's what that's doing is it's kicking some light up, and um, and then you could see the reflector there. Let's see, hold on. There you could see you could see the rounded reflector. Oh yeah. Right. This was just a, this actually the color correction on this is a little different, um, but there you can just see the uh, the reflector. Right. Um, and so I retouched out that reflector. So right. it's the you same it. lighting setup. Yep, I just cropped up above. Mm -hmm. But what that's doing, and you know, this she is, uh, you know, she is an older woman. And so to have that beautiful light coming from above um, while she's being shaded from the top. And that's what's the beauty of being in a doorway is you don't have that downward light coming down. Because what happens is the eyebrow creates this ridge and you get a dark shadow under the eye. Um, but what were you going to say? I was going to ask you. So I know you have a line of beauty products. Is she one of your clients? She's got beautiful skin. Uh, yes, <laughs> she uh, uses my she's been using my skincare in your face cream for many years. Listen to that, you guys. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and you, by the way, I'm not going to say how, what your birthday is. You can. Is no, it? it's July 1st. I turned 55. Listen. Okay. I know. And no, no, no facelift. Anywhere. I'm going to, I'm going to bring your camera say. up here just so we can <laughs> observe that. Do you guys see that? <laughs> but I, I have to say that as a photographer, being in front of the camera and behind the camera, the added bonus of, of, of this and what it shows up yeah. has um, really made me take care of my skin because I see it up close. It's made me uh, take care of my body because I see it up close. So it's been sort of a, a, a curse and a blessing to be yeah. in front of a camera for, for so much of my life. It kind of forces you to go, oh, wait, is, is, that, is, that what, is that what it looks like when it hangs? You know, all right, maybe I could just lift a little bit of weight. You know, in my case, it's let me lift my camera gear. You really do your um, own light weight lifting with it. That's right. But I, I do see, uh, I've had the, the fortune of seeing women's aging skin up close and I love skin and I don't love to cover it up with makeup for any of my women. Really? And I started, I started 20 years ago telling my clients when they need a portrait, my actors and my, um, people that are coming to just pay for a portrait if i'm being hired to by a company to do something i hire a makeup artist if it's a musician we may and they want a lot done but if it's just someone that's paying me to do a business portrait of them um i say do your own makeup i want to see what you look like when you go to a meeting and then i'm going to just fix it up i'll put i'll just make sure that there's no dark circles um i'll make sure that that you can see your eyebrows because eyebrows are very important yeah and, um, and I just enhance what they have. But sometimes if I hire a makeup artist that does too much, it's tough to undo that. Yeah, I bet. Well, her, right. she has a very, well, obviously it's a very natural look because you haven't done anything other than no, just. No, this is not, not retouched. Um, you know, in her case, what I do love as a photographer is I love when women have lots of lashes on. Mm. You know, just good yeah. mascara. Um, whether they're false or, or mascara, because eyelashes are something you're born with. It's not like a bunch of eyeshadow. It's not like red lips. Um, it's just lashes, and, and, it, and it brings your attention into the eye without a bunch of color or closing it up. Right. So, you know, note to anybody, if you, if you have a, a client, 
put some good mascara on or she has her lashes done, you're you're 60% of the way there with her liking her picture. Now, I wanted you to see this picture, too, yeah. because I took the reflector and turned it around. I just want so to see. underscore something here, too, you guys. Please. So everything you've mentioned so far is sim the most simple stuff. You have your yes. own. OK, so you have the foam core of the models holding it. You have somebody standing beside you behind her with the reflector. I mean, these are easy to yeah. do things. And then you're not yeah. asking, you're not advising any kind of heavy makeup. In fact, keep it really simple. So this is like yeah. easy to replicate for anybody watching this. I love it. That's right. That's right. And and it's important the 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 shaded quality of the light. I mean, if I were to just take my laptop, can I show you yeah. the area? Sure. Okay. Michael, are you on the phone? Okay. We do have, have a blurred you, uh... background, but that's okay. We're, we're kind of, so this is your, your setup here. Oh, wow. Yes. Okay. So like I'm out, we're going mobile. like now, now I'm in the sun. Right. Okay. Now I open up this door and I have them in the door here. Oh, I see. So there, there's, there's, I have the sun coming in from this glass window. Yeah. You know, there's this oh, glass yeah. window. And, and they're right here. So you're just using stuff that we all have. That's right. That's really and cool. And then my, my background, where I, I can't see myself at all, by the way. Yeah. So, um, so I have them oh, yeah. put, put this behind them like that boom and you have and somebody just this, holding it you don't even need a c stand yep, or, or, or that's right or i i sit them on the floor and i and i put a piece of furniture behind oh, them oh wow okay easy right so you have and these things you can get super cheap yep. they, they come either in black white silver right we'll put you know we'll put some links to some of those you guys i think yeah i think it's like 15 dollars you get a set or something Yep, and you can you can use one for reflection. Personally, for women, um, white bounce cards is the softest. Um, this these are the softest reflectors. The foam cards. To, to, the foam card yeah. is good for for light on your face. And you just did something. Hold it back. You had it. You just sort of tucked it under your chin there, so that's going to reflect back. And immediately right. changes the light on your face. Totally. Here, totally. let me let me get a bigger version of that so we can see that. So yeah, just as you're moving that card around, we can see what's going on. Yeah. You just move it and until you see it the way you want. That's it. Okay. It's easy. And uh, very easy. And you you'll you'll see it just and and I even tell the model too who's holding it. And I'll say, just move that around <laughs> because you don't always have somebody with you. Uh, you know, 99% right. of my portraits, it's just me and my model. And the other thing is I'll, I'll be um, holding, wait, I move that way. I'll be holding it while I'm doing this. Oh yeah. You know, so you just boom, boom, boom. And another point and about that is the more people you have, you, you're talking about people getting nervous behind the camera and the more people on right. a set, the more nervous, uh, not a pro, obviously they're used to it, but the average person starts to really get nervous because they're trying to perform instead of just they're be themselves. Totally. Yeah. Totally. And, and if you have to have someone like last night at my party, I had a lot of people here and, and um, varying degrees of professionals and, and artists. And many of them got very intimidated. And so I made the girls actually come by my side and make the girls laugh uh, and like bring them into it. And, and, and some of the best pictures were the girls looking away, laughing at the friends, you know, like if that energy has got to be there, you know, then, then harness it, you know, find out like if the husband is standing there and you're shooting the wife, ask the husband, what's her favorite food? Yeah. He'll go, Oh, pizza. And she'll be like, ah, oh, or, you know, sushi or use that person as opposed to fighting with the fact that you know the subject is uncomfortable if you can't tell them to go away that's smart we you know dick zimmerman right yes yes i used to do um hair and makeup for him okay well dick is 
you, if you guys, you can look him up. I should get him on the show. Uh, fantastic celebrity photographer. He used yep. to have this little box. <laughs> you press the button. Do you remember that? And it would swear. It would shoot out oh, obscenities. Yeah. And yeah. <laughs> it was the most hysterical thing. I remember being in a shoot with a whole bunch of pretty conservative looking executives. And he yeah. starts pressing the button. I'm not going to do it because we're on YouTube, but it would just shout out these. And you can imagine those were the worst obscenities yeah. you've ever heard. Yeah. Everybody cracks up. You can't not <laughs> laugh. It just it was sort of like from George Carlin's George Carlin, where he talked about like the 10 deadly words totally. or the words you can't the say. The most you versatile know, word in the English language is. Yeah. Starts with F. Uh, That's right. Dick, we used to use that. But any kind of like ice breaking yeah. thing is is not a bad idea yeah and you know my my trick for photographing kids mm. i kind of remember my, it, it's uh squeaky kids are they're all over no i <laughs> um and and i'm talking like even eight nine twelve years old you know a lot of times they're not interested in fact when they get like that preteen they get a little bored yeah. you know you need them there. It's it's a nice paying job. The parents want the whole family. So I, and especially with, like, again, like even to two to three year olds, I always pretend that there's some monkey's butt <laughs> on my camera lens because a butt, the word butt just makes kids laugh. Yep. And if and it's adults. on the lens, they will always look at the camera, right? So what I do is I go, hey, is there a, hey, would you get that monkey butt? And then if, if to really take it over the top, I make that monkey butt fart. And I'm like, <laughs> a farting monkey butt on your camera. And, and literally the kid goes from wanting to walk away to looking everywhere to looking right at my lens, laughing hysterically along with the whole family. Oh, that's good. So, and you make it like a little bit of a like that it keeps surprising you like, would you stop it? Because then they, 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 they're like waiting, like, okay, is it going to do it again? And all you need is their attention for like two minutes. Right. And so, so that's, that's. We are my, going to remember the farting monkey butt. The farting monkey butt in the lens. In the lens. That you're having a fun with. And, and you, will, you will get all those little kids to look right at the camera. I love it. And you will thank me. Can we see some more of your images? Sure, sure. Again, natural light yeah. with the same girl. She, we just walked outside, and if you can see the, the columns there, above her, she is being shaded. Okay. And if you look close, you in her eye, see the little white oh, thing? Yeah. yeah. That's my 50-cent cardboard. Wow. Little catch and light I just coming from it. the cardboard. Yep. And um, and so she's being completely shaded by the, the walkway of this like a uh, business community that's around my uh, my studio. OK, um, I, I always I try I always try and face and get a little bit of greenery, you know, because I knew the greenery would look nice with her pink shirt uh -huh. like that was intended to get that little touch of green. Um, whereas on this boy, his his he's got a modeling agent out here and um, and I didn't want the greenery. I just wanted the blur. Now this was shot with the 70 to 200 millimeter lens. Okay. I think at a at a full 200. Um, so you were again, standing pretty all, far away from him. Yes. Yeah. Yep. And it's funny because I'll stand far away and people will do things with their, um, you know, like she kept saying, "Don't get my stomach, don't get my stomach," right. and I'm like, because I'm so far away, but I I want that complete blur with mm. the 200 millimeter. Right. And, and so they just really shine. And I just wanted to show you again, that's just putting that same shot in black and white. Right. You know, the, the difference that, that that makes just by yeah. being in black and white. And her eyes, I love the eyes. Yeah. You just had her yeah. look over at something. Th that is something I, I very much direct my clients. I had to do that a lot last night. I would tell them, you know, just look, if there's nobody around, I just say, you know, look look over like you're laughing at your husband. Or actually what I love to say is pretend your publicist is over there and is making you laugh because you're such a star. Oh, and there's your agent. And I just say things and they're so silly and that makes the people just laugh, I love you it. know? I love there's it. something very engaging. People really love pictures of them, especially if they're not a professional, when, they when they're looking away laughing. 
Um, yeah. So definitely. And you ha- people think that like, oh, they just did that and you're waiting for them to do it. No, as a photographer, ask for that. And it's going to sound weird. I'll, I'll hold my hand up. I'll go, okay, look over here. And if they look up, it's more hopeful. If they look down, it's more pensive. Yeah. Straight straight to the side is, is, is totally cool, but go to the side or up a bit. And I put my hand and I go and I wave it in the air while I'm shooting and I go, just look up here and laugh. And then sometimes I, I put the middle finger because it's funny. It's like the F word. <laughs> yeah. and, and it's unexpected. I'll, I'll go here, just look here. And then I do the, the middle finger and they laugh. And, and it just looks like they're such a confident model, you know? Well, this is another big point. We've discussed this before, but you're being a director. You're not mm-hmm. being a passive photographer, just hoping that your, your subject gives you what you want. You're, you're actively directing them. Yes. Very important. Yes. Yeah. They, they people sit down and and you know again last night I they they didn't know what to do and um, you know having um usually having someone sit down you uh, take care of about eighty percent of their fears right oh, because really? they people yeah. don't don't know what to do with their body and it's why um, photography leaning stands were are, are sold again all it is is um, it, it's like a C stand, but with a little uh, piece of foam or a piece of cush on it. Yeah. And there, it's just for the person to lean on. And um, obviously, not all the time. You uh, you'll you'll need to have three quarter or something. But whenever I photograph a client, I'm going to be doing a variety of professional portraits. I always start with them sitting down because when they stand, they're like, okay, what do I do? Where do I? What, what? Yeah. You know, I'm like, sit down. Okay. Okay. What do I? Just sit down, just and then twist them to the side a bit. When people are, you know, she's straightforward, and there's something very strong. Mm-hmm. There, you know, you can do when you, if you're going to go straight on, you got to own it, right? Yeah. Um, a little bit of uh, the tiny, like yeah. tilting something. If the body is straight, turn the face a bit. You know, if the body is turned, put the face straight on. See the difference here? Yeah. How her body is twisted to the side, but her face is right on. Or if their fa- if their body's right on, turn the face a bit to the side. Cool. So those are two good. Makes sense. Tips. But again, and when they're sitting down, and when their arms can relax, the face relaxes. Mm. Where's that other? Yeah, the, the, all this right here. But you want to make sure that that it's not too high where their shoulders come up, because it, when you don't, right. when the neck. When you lose the neck, it, it's not as flattering. So you want to have something like that, a table. So you just have a, it looks like the, is that the edge of a chair there, the, her arms? That's are, all it is. That's all it is. Yep. Nothing fancy. No, I go to thrift shops and I, I find old chairs that are timeless. Um, what it took me in Florida to find this chair, they had them painted turquoise and be, I'm like, no, 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 you don't understand. I'm, I'm photographing. <laughs> People, I, I don't want something shiny and black or too noticeable. I want it to be earthy and recede in the background. Yeah. So, yep. Very, very great advice. And somebody just said, yeah, sitting first is great advice. And that's such a simple thing to do. Yeah. Don't have them Gets stand them. up and be awkward. Have them sit down and be comfortable. That's right. Because the frames that you're going to take of them being awkward are frames that you're going to still have to process and go through. Yeah. You know? So, so do yourself, you know, a favor and, and, uh, get them more relaxed them right relaxed. at the start. That's great. Yeah. This is really, I love the fact that these are just everyday points that anybody can use. Nothing fancy. No nope. stuff that we've all got available to us easily. Yep. And I, and I tell people even with their, with their iPhone or with any of their smartphone, the way you um, can get that blurred background. Now there are portrait modes, but but I have found with a portrait mode is um, you can't you can't crop in as much. Like right. when you put a phone in portrait mode, you can't. So I still just use the the phone at the straight regular camera, but zooming in. And when you just when you zoom in and that person is in the shade, even though a phone doesn't have the ability. Um, like a professional camera with the if you're in that's right so if you're in shaded light the camera isn't having to read too many different types of light um 
if you get someone under a, like in a doorway and you zoom in, um, stand back, zoom in, you will get an, an amazing portrait of them. I, I do this all the time. I send people on their way. I grab their iPhone so that they can have something right away. Brilliant. And usually what, what they'll do is they will, um, they will walk close to the person. Um, they'll, they'll, they'll do it close. And what you get is like a, you get this wide angle lens, right? Because yeah. you know that these phones are wide angle. Yeah. So if you go close to get a portrait, you're getting that. Step back and zoom in while the person's in the shade. And you'll actually get like a very professional looking That is portrait. really great advice. Mm -hmm. I love it. Do you have any other uh, images? I want to ask you too, from the yes, yes, let's from this perspective of capturing the emotion that you're looking for. Let, let's go back to the to the kid up here at the top. You've got a kind of a oh, okay. You know, there's attitude there. He's also doing something that we've talked about on the show. From do you? I don't know if you know Peter Hurley. He's a portrait photographer in New York City. But he talks about this squinch where you close the eyes a little bit. Yeah. And that's what yeah. he's doing in this image. And, that, and I actually told him. I actually told him because this is his tough boy shot. Yeah. And he has this big doe eye, um, this, his naturally. But I said, just squint your eyes a little bit. Yeah. And, and I messed his hair up. You know, the mother was like, oh, oh, I didn't brush his hair this morning. I said, I don't care. This is what I need for the first look. And I actually messed it up just a little bit more, and his uh, his modeling agents just went nuts for it. Um, let me uh, get but out of that. But there's definitely for a second. that's the emotion that you were looking for. That's right. Yeah. I want to show While you. While you're looking, I'm gonna. Yeah. I'll ask a, a question here. Um, do you shoot raw or JPEG? Um, I shoot raw. Yeah. I you know sometimes I I might get lazy like once a year and then I always then I do kind of regret it yeah always shoot raw you guys because then you raw you know take your clothes off I actually gave a workshop <laughs> once in uh -huh. in the midwest and I was talking about shooting raw and one of the ladies raised her hand he says she said you really want me to shoot in the raw and I said no that's not what I'm talking about here shoot raw you guys uh -huh. then you have control yes. over your images if you even even an iPhone, you can um, use the Lightroom app and get raw images out. I don't know if you know that, but that's a little trick. I should show you guys how to do that. Absolutely. I don't know. Can you see this yeah, one? Yeah, here we go. Same, is this the same guy? It's the same kid. Okay. And, and this is just another little tip in photography. You change the clothes to, to something that, it, that suits the mood. Oh, yeah. You, 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 I smooth the hair out. Yeah. Right. So we, like it, it's a, uh, uh, whoopsie, um, it's a, a completely different. It's a different feel. Complete, all of a sudden. A different feel, um, you know, same light, same location, but I just took some styling uh, changes. And it was the same shoot. So, oh, same shoot. It was yeah. probably three minutes. Three minutes later. Okay. So like you're, you're, it's the message of what you're, what you're wanting to communicate. If I shoot a businessman and I want, um, that very corporate look. Okay. So you put the suit on, but then he says, you know, I also do, um, I'm also a consultant for, um, I don't know, people who go on vacation. So I'm like, okay, great. So now let's put on, you know, your t-shirt and maybe your jean jacket or your pullover sweater or a sweatshirt. Um, let's just kind of run your hands through your hair. Let's have you sit down a little slouchy, kind of lean on your your leg a bit, and give me a great laugh. Nice. Boom. So, so I'm I'm taking into consideration the purpose of what somebody needs the picture for, and you style it based on that. And again, this is all because I just want the people to like the pictures. Yeah. You know, I I like being paid as a photographer. I like being able to make a living, giving people um, uh, materials that help them with whatever their job is. So you kind of have to listen to what's the, when someone says, how much do you charge for a picture? I'm like, first of all, what is it that you need it for? Yeah. Um, right. It, it, all that takes into consideration, right. you know, the, the purpose. Makes sense. Um, right. Right. 
it's that same motivation that we started off with. It's that purpose. You you yep. you want you you enjoy what you're doing, and you're showing that side of a person that you're that hopefully is exactly what they want. One thousand percent, and, that and, comes and it's from just your connection with them. Once again. Um, once again, yes. Yeah. So the um, the JPEG raw. What I do is, you know, everything gets shot. Um, everything gets shot CR2 definitely, and um, and then they all get put into Lightroom, and um, and get processed. Yeah. Um, and each lighting setup take has a has has its own amount of time for processing. There um, we go. And we're in Lightroom see. now. And CR2 is for you guys who don't know. That's the Canon RAW. Mm -hmm. uh, which Lightroom will accept and turn it into its own version of RAW if you want to, which is always a good idea. Yes. All right. This was, oh boy, <laughs> this was my my uh, birthday pictures. Oh, this is from la of, last night, yesterday. This was, yes, this was last night. And my, my theme was the women all needed um, shot all in white. Um, and, uh, yeah, I just wanted everyone to be, I just wanted all the women, um, there we go in, in white and, um, and I wanted, um, I wanted smiles. I, uh, you know, you can see here again, these are just the raw. So you're catching, um, you're catching a, a reflector in it. Um, it's just one, one light on them. With a fan. And you told them ahead of time, just that was part of the invitation, wear white. Okay, here's where the woman in me. Yeah. Um, I bought a bunch of, I bought a bunch of white shirts from Walmart. And about 50% of the women coincidentally wore white. And the other 50%, I loaned you, them a shirt. You thought ahead. Very smart. Yep. By the and, way, if you um, have just one thing, I saw your low battery notice coming up. Can you plug it in so we don't? I already did. Oh, good. I already okay. Did. I <laughs> good. Just wanted to make sure. Um, this but that's girl was smart, super, being prepared. She was super nervous. And, and the only way she started to feel comfortable was when I just had her just, you know, I'm like, you got to shake it off, shake it off. You know, of course, I just keep shooting just because it makes them feel good. Yeah. Um, but like once she started moving, then I was able to get just like something decent of her. I like oh, that was, one. Um, How did you get so that yeah, sort of, go back to that last one, that sort of intense look that you had there. Uh, where is it? Just before yep, yep. you had, a, you had her kind of obviously doing something to bring that, that intensity. Yeah. I think uh, this is one of those there. Let's see. Uh, now I am. Um, so again, are you you're you're directing? You're saying stuff. You're everything. I even told her to. I said, put your put your hand on your face. I tell them put their hand on their face, and I say, do it gently. Uh, see how she's not nice squishing her face. There. Right. Very nice. Um. She's see. There's remember I told you all the girlfriends. <laughs> yeah. So they're all laughing and talking to the girlfriends, which is fine. Oh, I, I said see. put your put your hand by your face, and so she did that. You could see it wasn't quite right yet, yeah. a little uncomfortable. A friend made her laugh, and then I said put it on your face, and I showed her. I said very gently, don't squish your face. That's the money see? shot there, isn't it? Yep. Because you've got and the catch light. You've got her relaxed. Yep. And then um, I. Uh, now I can go in and she's got very, now there's, you can see this is raw. You can look here. There's, yeah. I didn't do anything to it. So if I want to pull the shadows a little bit to bring a little bit to the, um, I'm going to get it rid of, let's say, get rid of the, that. Yeah. Let's drop it in just a bit just here so and here. The, the background. There we go. Um, and uh, I can maybe a little more contrast. I might want to lower the highlight a bit mm -hmm. if it's a little too like on her forehead. Um, it might be a little orangish. I can 
cool it off there a little bit. And because she's a woman, maybe I just lower a little bit of the texture and lower a yeah. little bit of the clarity. Those are and good then, tips. I use them all the time in portraiture. Yeah. Just Absolutely. to lower that. It's just, the, yeah, the clarity and the texture, just a little yep. bit. We're not going to make them like, you know. And then again, the shadows. And I always, whenever I'm doing something, I go all the way to the left, all the way to the right. Right. And then I bring it back. And you bring it back. And for a woman with dark hair, if you go too much, they look like they have gray hair. Mm. So bring it back. Bring it back till you see hair, but no more white. See, she's still a brunette. Yeah. You know, whereas this is nothing. Right. See that? That's nothing. Yeah. So you pull a little bit of that shadow, and then you don't have to go crazy with hair light <laughs> either. Right. You know? That's a really good tip. So, um, and, and one, one light source on a woman's face is, if you look in here, there's one light source and then the reflector right below it, that card. What was the light that's, source, by the way? It was just softbox behind her. Or it's behind just you? exactly. It's one. It's that. It's one softbox. Yeah, it's that softbox that we saw over there. Yep. Yep. Amazing. And and every woman got that. You know what, and, and Denise? We should what? we should have you come back and just do a show on your processing because I I love it. You know, I love the and you and I have talked about some of these things, even changing the hue a little bit or whatever. You know, there's all these controls that you have on Lightroom and I know you mentioned to me you just play around with them all until you get what you want yep the, all the ones down here that yeah. were like what does don't, this do don't what is this those. little thing right when it comes to skin tone because that's something with film we forget that when we shot in film film had all these beautiful properties yeah and digital is wide open people think once you shoot it it's ready to go no it isn't and sometimes what I'll do is I'll open up a magazine and I'll keep a magazine next to me, like a high quality magazine, and I'll look at the skin textures. Um, I, um, uh, yeah, I'll look at portraits from Vanity Fair or L, um, and I'll look at what they're getting. Now this is uh, smart. this is processed a little bit. This is like nothing. Okay, mm -hmm. so that's raw, and then there we go. I can, let me um, select that. While you're doing that, that, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ask you guys, we're, boy, we've been with you 45 minutes already. Isn't that amazing? It goes by so fast. But if you mm -hmm. guys have questions, line them up because we're going to take them in a minute here. I'm even showing just a little before and after, you know. Oh, yeah. And, and women, again, they tend to like things a little bit brighter, whiter, but not blown out. You right. still want to see, you know, you still want to see features that, that define them, you know, but. Um, and even that, uh, let's see, I don't think I did anything to the clarity here. Yeah, she's full. On. So let me lower some of the texture, lower. That definitely softens yeah. without going overboard because you're yeah. not moving it very far. It's minus 11. Nope. You can still see her face, her skin, you know, is not yep. being masked. But just yeah, a like little bit. Yeah, like it's that, you know. And texture they and, added recently, and that helps a lot, too. It's just that, that's a fun one, yeah. Yeah. So, um, yeah, and then, you know, then I, once I found something, I select it. You know, you guys all know, you sync it and... Yeah. And then and then I go and um, go uh, uh, see something like that. I love it. And her body's all weird, you know, but you just crop it. Yeah. You know, you you can like, you know, maybe it's just a fantastic. Maybe it becomes a horizontal, you know. Right. And then maybe I want to see it like because it's, you know, maybe I want to see it yeah. totally black and white, you know. Yeah. Um, so there's so much that like, you know, well, it's just joy. I love to just show the joy. Um, and uh, yeah, reset that. And it's like a totally different picture. So really playing around with, with cropping um, is, is such a magical part of the process. Yes. Like there's something fun. She, she's a dancer, you know, she's over 50. She's in phenomenal shape. So I love seeing her body. Um, but let's say if she's going to speak somewhere at an event, they, they don't have the room for all that body. So I want to crop it 
and we don't want to see the hand that's kind of floating out of nowhere. Right. So, you know, we'll just make it like that. So, yeah. It, we have a mm -hmm. question from the Blind Husky team. Jared, are you going to read that? Are you there? I can read it. How do you cope with skin? Uh, yeah, you can oh, do go, it. Go ahead. You do it. All right. Uh, so the Blind Husky team, uh, they're asking a really good question. How do you cope with the skin that's not so clean and nice? Um, do you use it like lighting on set or do you do it in post or is it a little bit of both? How do you, how do you deal with that? Um, so um, if, if it's, if it's, let's say you, if you can't put makeup on it, I have always carried around um, in your kit. And, and I got this from other photographers back in the early film days. They would have a little palette of, um, I'm going to actually show you something that here was my little table. Um, this little palette oh, yeah. by, by uh, Cry, uh, uh, Krylon, not uh, K-R-Y, Cry, Krylon. Yeah. We'll try to find the link for that. Jared, we'll find it. We'll yeah. put it up. And what it does is it's got three different shades, so I can mix. Um, I I can mix, and then having a little a little powder, with a big puffy brush. Mm -hmm. um, and then and then a smaller brush with something like this, because I'll tell you, I'll do a lot of business people, men, and men's skin can be very ruddy and red. Yeah. And and when when you ask them what kind of pictures would you like, and they go on Pinterest. They go on Pinterest and they they get all these pictures of, you know, Brad Pitt. Yeah, and, you Brad. Know, like, well, look just like and that. all these these beautiful portraits where all of these men have sat in front of a, a makeup chair for you know for forty minutes and got the red taken out of them very gently. You mm -hmm. know, they they you just use like a little brush to kind of just dot it, dust a little bit of powder. Um, and it, and it makes all the difference, right? So to just have in your kit, even just a little bit of like get a bronzer powder and a, like three different shades with a, a brush. And, um, and literally that, that can, can save you because trying to light for, for um, and if it zits, again, a little bit of makeup helps with that. But I have found that um, post-production um, I'm very, I'm very good at Photoshop. I tell the client, don't worry about it. It's we're, we're going to, we're going to handle that in post as much as I try not to do that. Yeah. Um, there, there is just certain light that just in general looks beautiful on a face and to try and change it for the skin texture when, when what you want is something that makes the shape of their face, um, and their eyes glow that kind of, I, I prefer to do the one that goes the overall to make the their the shape of their face good and um, and then I can deal with the skin later. There's sometimes backlight, um, like a beachy backlight with a little soft reflector minimizes that. Um, uh, choosing to go in black and white also helps, and um, and using your post production to lower keep lowering the reds also helps. That's great advice. Okay, well listen. You have given us so many things to work with and work on, and I've already got three more shows that I want you to come back and do with us. <laughs> yeah, my pleasure. I, you know, it would be great to what? maybe uh, do a, a live shoot and watch you. Oh. We've done that with, um, oh, you uh, have? with Joshua okay. Schultz. You might know Josh. Oh, sure. We sure. did that with him a couple of, ah, 10 days ago, and I love it because it really takes everything you're talking about and shows us, like, how you're yeah. applying makeup or whatever, how you're using the foam core. Anyway, we'll have to schedule that and set that up. Easy peasy. Brilliant. Well, mm -hmm. listen, um, is there any, if there's any last question, here it is, here is one. Jared just came up. Um, have you seen male portrait photographers bring makeup to a shoot? Yes. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. I used to yeah, in fact, do that, it myself. All the, 
there, in, in fact, my training, I didn't have uh, women training me. I had men training me. And I was uh, also a hair and makeup uh, artist when I was like 16, 17, 18 years old. Uh-huh. And all the photographers I worked with were men. And some of the best tools for repairing skin came from men. Because it had nothing to do with like, you have to be a beauty fashionista. It was from the technical point of, I want to put light a certain way. But seeing that that red thing right there is messing me up. So if I just kind of dot it with this little piece of makeup here, it handles it. So before I forget, yes. I want to make sure we put a link to your beauty products. And I don't know. I'm not trying to put you on the spot, but if you have a little special Aww. that we can pass along to these guys, that would be awesome. We can always put that on there later. Sure. It, it's just in your face skin care okay. in your face skin dot com. Because truly having having beautiful skin to shine through on a lens uh, makes a photographer's job much easier. For sure. We all want to look better, let's face it. Well, Denise, thank you. Is there any final piece of advice just in regards to photography to elevate our, you know, our abilities or where you please make use of natural light, whether it's with your professional camera, with your iPhone, I say zoom in tight in the shade and capture people and and text them their pictures because people out in the world need beautiful pictures of themselves and if you're a photographer you have that gift and and share it liberally because it helps people and it makes them happy and and that's that's what we need in this world right now is people feeling lovely and and confident yeah excellent well listen thank you and happy birthday once again Thank you. Thank you, you so much. Marvelous. This is awesome. <laughs> we Thanks, will be guys. talking we'll again talk. very, very soon. Perfect. Mwah. Ciao. Guys, wow. Awesome. I mean, I love I love every time I bring on a, a talented photographer, which they all are, but Denise brings this simplicity. And I knew that, and I just wanted to you know, bring this to you guys. So take note of everything she said. Um, we'll, we'll definitely put some links on here so you can find these products and whatnot. But at Foam Core, go down and get a piece of Foam Core. You know, get the chair, or get the, you know, these are great props to have on hand. Absolutely have a reflector. Have a single light source like Josh was talking about. Very important, simple portrait tips. And remember, the most important thing is connecting with your subject. Absolutely. Speaking of connecting, so a couple of things, guys. One, we have a survey that we are conducting right now. I meant to mention that to you earlier, but I didn't want you doing it during the show. This is a very, very important survey to connect with you. Take a few moments. Jared will put the link on there. After the show, don't do it just yet, but as soon as we're done here, make sure you fill it out. And there's a lot of, there's a, there's an open-ended question where you get to answer whatever you want. I want to hear from you. Put as much detail as you can. This is really going to help me design not only shows, but products exactly on whatever it is you want. Promise? And pass it around to your friends for that matter, because we want as many photographers answering this as possible. And speaking of passing things around, make sure you are inviting people to AYP and that you're subscribing yourself, but sharing it with your friends. Let them know about this show. You guys, this is a, I love this show because where else do you get to get in touch with this much knowledge this these aren't people who are just trying to figure it out and saying things because it sounds good these are people who have really gone into the world real world as photographers and figured it all out and that's what we're bringing to you okay share it like it subscribe definitely go to ayp club jared will put the link in there if you're not already a member definitely join so that we can carry on the conversation with you guys. Wow. Okay. Well, I'm going to be off a little bit next week. You're not going to see me till the end of the week. We're actually taking a much needed drive down our coast to, uh, I might even do a live broadcast with you. We're going to leave Carmel, go through Big Sur, 
go to a little town called Morro Bay near where Chris Burkhardt lives and end up in Santa Barbara and hopefully get out to the Santa, the Channel Islands, which are off the coast of Santa Barbara. That's my goal, if everything goes according to plan. And um, hey, what a great way to celebrate our country's birthday. So I think that's it. I could go on talking with you guys for a long time because I love you. I love having you, <laughs> having you with us. I love bringing you this content. And I want to remind you to remember to get out. Say this with me. Remember to get out and capture your own images of life. Love you guys. See you real soon. Actually, you're going to see me tomorrow with Bob and Andrea. Bob Holmes, National Geographic photographer and Andrea. Also a f incredibly talented f photographer. We're going we're to have a tightly scripted event as we always do. Bob and I joke about that because we actually wing it every time. But as you can see, our style of winging it isn't too bad. Um, but we'll see you guys tomorrow, right, Jared? Anything else? Did I leave anything else out? I think, I think that's everything. I think uh, check out the events page. I'll put a link to that. We've got some cool uh, people lined up, and you can see in advance uh, some of the shows we have. That's so. right. Yeah, we've got some cool ones coming up. Okay, guys. See you, see you soon. And take care. We love you.